So, how do you TT in the grey guys? Um, clutch fault, I've had this car in the floor. Um, not for this fault, for servicing and uh, stage one remap as well. So unfortunately, clutch is getting a bit spongy on it, so it's not slipping or anything. Um, so we're going to replace the master cylinder because we think that's the best place to start on it because it's um, I know easy to get the gearbox out and this isn't that expensive. Um, the archetype point could go in to be honest with you, and it does look like the original one. So fingers crossed. That's all it's needing, but. We do the way I do these is, is I just take the whole pedal box out to be honest with you. Um, so you've got one bolt, one nut up the top there. It just goes up onto that top stud up there, and then you put two down the bottom. You see there, I've got some blue roll there. Um, just soaking up some of the brake fluid. And you see, we've got the magnet. So you can take off this bottom fascia, side cover off, just leave the fuse box dangling there. Um, got a panel of it. Over there, um, and what we've done, well, we've got it off. There's an, I know an issue with these Audi TTs. This little plate here kind of buckles off, so we've just re flapped this, taking, taking the paint off, the powder coating, um, and we've just, well, originally, there's just a couple of spot welds. I'll put a couple of uh, pictures on the in the description. Um, you see, there's just a, a spot weld here, a spot weld here, a spot weld there, and a spot weld there. Um, so we've just kind of dotted it all together, so that should never move, um, the way the pedal sits it's not going to affect it to be honest with you, so um, aye, we'll get a wee bit of, a wee bit of zinc, um, a wee bit of satin black on it, um, get the new master cylinder on it, there is um, two clips on these and um, it's much easier on the vice, um, you do is just push these two wee tabs in and push the pedal you know, back up towards you, uh, I'll pull the pedal up towards you and that'll release that from the pedal housing itself, so um, yeah, in that little slot there you can see the two slots, the bit that we've just welded, so those two wee tabs, you'll be able to push them, um, I normally do it with the pedal down, push your two tabs in, pull it out, um, it's much easier when it's on the on the, on the the vice, up on the bench to be honest with you, um, difficult bit to get into, probably in here to be honest with you, you get the pipe coming down, um, and we've um, so we've got the pipe coming down. We've taken the, the pipe off altogether. That's the pipe up there. We're going to put some new hose clamps on it as well because those are a bit a bit rubbish now. So we'll put new ones on it. We'll get it all bled up. We'll get the pipe on it, bled up, and hopefully that's all it's needing. Um, yeah. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But yeah, that's a a known issue with those uh, things going. So those pedal brackets breaking off. So that's the new one there. So, all the equivalent part, uh, we'll get it all built back up, get the spring back on it. Like I say guys, it's much easier when you get a vice doing this, um, so that's what I recommend if you you can do it on the floor. Um, you better having somebody holding it, um, but no. Um, if you've got the vice, then it's not a problem. So we'll get the welder turned off now as well, so see there, we've got our Sealy uh, Power MIG 180, Super MIG, sorry. Very good, highly recommend it, it is very good. Um, we've done a lot of welding with it, a lot of transits. Uh, we put a nice UVO torch on it as well. Um, you can see there, we've got a lovely Honda that we're ongoing with. So, this one. This one's going to need quite a bit of welding, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much yet, but... Oh no, wait a minute, Aye, there's a hole in it. So, as you can see... We've had the, the cell on it, just to size it up. Just to see uh, the new cell, so there's a new panel there for it. A new arch as well, I think these come from Poland. Got plenty of cutting discs, plenty of flap discs you need for doing these. Um, and, well there you go, there you go guys. So there was a gaping hole in it. So it's not bad to be honest with you, for a, a 30 year old Honda. Um, the big pipe, I think that's going to need, need replaced. Um, but you can see there, that's inside the car guys. So. That's a big hole in it. So, we've still got a lot of rotten metal to take out. Um, and obviously you can't buy any of this, so don't need to all be fabricated. We'll need to get that uh, suspension off it as well. We'll need to get the suspension off. And, yeah, we'll need to get that suspension taken off it. Uh, to be getting the back here. Um, and then hopefully we'll come up where we're getting it mounted onto the ramp. Uh, we can lift it up a wee bit higher. But, 
at the minute, it doesn't look like there's anywhere, you know, we could put the legs under. But for a 1990s Honda, um, not too bad, to be honest with you, not too bad. Um, you can see there, um, this is where our new panel will come down to, and where we've drawn it there, that's where, you know, that's where we'll cut it. Eventually, we'll just, we've kept as much metal on it as we can at the minute, um, and we'll just trim it uh, to suit. Um, you can see that the new panel, which might be okay, ready, will go in there some, like so. If I, as Ed China says, I'm sure a lot of fettling, um, and we'll get that on, but we'll get that on, we'll get the sill on it. Um, and then we'll start worrying about that big lump of engine in there for it. Right. That's the 2.2 the Honda Accord engine. Um, full, full things there. So we had the whole car, so we've broken the whole car and get rid of the scrap, basically. And there was not much of that car left, to be honest with you. Um, the Accord Type R was probably one of the worst shells I've ever seen, to be honest with you. Hondas are notorious, um, especially in Scotland, lots of salty roads. Hondas are notorious for, um, for rotten. But you know, this one, guys, uh, I've kept this one a long time. Um, I did garage it. I mean, look at the original wings. You, the original Honda wings. No, they're not too bad. These could be reused, these could be, well, saying that, that bit there is looking pretty rotten, to be honest with you, but I mean, if you couldn't get these, I mean, you, you could you could probably soda blast that and media blast it or, or something, um, and reuse it if you were really stuck, but I still got the plastic for the uh, the wing, uh, the bumper, so we'll need that at some point. So there is other bits on it, we need to, it had a little accident impact here at some point in its life. Uh, I do remember when that happened. I do, I do know who did it. Um, I'm not going to name him, but um, I do know who did it. Um, it was before I had the car. Before I bought the car, so I bought the car, um, and then I put it off the road. Um, you can see the doors lined in there, so that's a bit of Land Rover. Uh, it shouldn't be there. Bit of Land Rover. So you can see, the tire's good. We'll probably just reuse that. <laughs> Let's see the date code. Let's get a, get a laugh if it's there. Let's see the date code on this tire. Let's get a wee look. Yeah, the tire's probably been fitted wrong, to be honest with you, so... Yeah, the tire's probably been fitted wrong. I didn't drive this car very long on the road. I knew it was needing a lot of, a lot of restoration. Uh, so I garaged it. So I put it in, in the garage, to be honest with you. And we think this is where it happened. We think this is where it all started. You can see there. That's Cali. So we think at some point... Because uh, the rest of it, mm -hmm. it looks good. And you can just see it's bubbling here and... There was bits of can't like them off it. I mean, they did a good job because it's been, you know, that's the way the, the way these were when they come at the factory. That a stone chipping, I would call it an eggshell finish. Um, that's the way it came at the factory with that on it. So whoever did it, you know, done this patch job. I reckon at some point maybe what's happened, somebody's jacked it. You know, back in the early nineties, somebody's maybe jacked it in the wrong place and uh, buckled it. So maybe somebody's done a repair on it and put a bit of sill in. But they did do a good job on it, to be honest with you, they did. Um, but we've got another one for this side anyway, same with the, the quarter panel. But the, the floors and all that in the car, pretty solid. So, 1990 car, sound dead and still in there. All well, the rest of it's all rotten, mind you. So, this side, we did do a repair on this and then decided, you know, this needs major restoration. So that was, that was about 15 years ago. And we put it in the garage and it's been there ever since. And what happened was... Uh, during the coronavirus pandemic, the lockdown, um, we were meant to open this garage. However, uh, <laughs> uh, as we were meant to open this garage in uh, March uh, last year, the year before, can't remember now. Um, aye, the coronavirus happened, so we decided not to open. Uh, even though we could, we were essential business. Um, a lot of our competitors were closed, um, so we, we decided to follow suit and, and follow those guys. Um, and we were very bored. We were doing. You know, kind of emergency repairs from home for people keeping them on the road um, and stuff like that. But well, during lockdown, me and my dad we got a bit bored, to be honest with you, and we stripped it to bits. So, my engine is in the garage for it at my house. Uh, most of it is in my loft, or as they call it, across the pond in the attic. So there's lots of lots of car um, stored away. So, and I've got the lip on the front and the lip on the back in there, and the bonnet, some door guards, uh, some door cards and stuff like that. Some interior bits of trim. Really, what we've got to do is get the windows out and then get the tailgate off it. Um, all the suspension, get it back to a bare shell. 
um, and we'll decide for there whether we're going to uh, soda blast it, which we think we are. We think we're going to soda blast it in here, to be honest with you. So we'll have an empty workshop, um, and we're going to put a big curtain along that HB map, uh, a big cu curtain off a, off a lorry, off a, off a trailer, uh, and we'll just try and keep the dust into that area because it will make some mess and we'll wet all the floor. So the end that does fall down, we'll land on the floor and stick to the floor and then we can sweep it up for there. Um, but it will make some mess, but it really does need blasted to be honest with you to see what we're left uh, good metal wise. But I believe for a 1980 Honda in Scotland that that's not too bad. I believe there's a lot worse out there. Uh, they're quite rare these cars as well now, they are quite rare. Same as the Seed Toledo that we've kept a hold of for a good few years now as well. They are quite rare as well, there's only two of them in the country I believe. Um, Registered on the on the roads, one diesel, one petrol. We believe that must have been the petrol, um, which obviously is still registered, but it's off the road for the last year. It needs some restoration as well. Bye. So we've got kind of this one first, and then possibly, possibly that one down there. We're not sure yet. We're not sure yet. Suggestions, guys, for that one. We're thinking um, maybe an engine for one of these. Bam. Or, um, well, this isn't the bam, but it's it's close enough. It's a turbo TT. Um, uh, or or VR6 guys, what do you think? A VR6 in there. Um, we'll keep all the original bits from it. We'll keep all the original bits because it is a rare car. We will keep all the original bits, but um, you know, we, or we keep it standard. We don't know yet. We really don't know. We'd, we'd uh, appreciate your comments, suggestions, what you want to do, what do you think? Um, the Spanish Bull. So the see at Toledo, which basically underneath is a Mark III Golf GTI. So, yep. Not a bad old car, to be honest with you. It looks quite good, doesn't it? Eh, not bad. 